Hey, hi, howdy. I am CamCan66, and welcome back to Breath Edge. I'm hoping that I can figure out what's going on because, uh, I don't know, it's just, this game is getting a little strange. Did I grab everything from in here? Except for the salty packages, but I don't really need food. Everything is, like, so far away. Like, my stuff is far close, and then, like, thousand meters and stuff. It's like, what the heck? How am I supposed to get there and survive? Guessing I need to build a base or something. And then I need, like, to decrypt this. Encrypted tape, but I don't... I don't have, like, the ability to produce one. Anything else that I missed over here? And nothing. Oh, radiation's going up. Okay, so I'm starting to get close to the radiation field again. Interesting. Uh, what'd that say? Oh, I could grab the thing through it. Okay. Um, build a service module. A service module? Okay. I need two construction kicks and electronics. And what do I have right now? I have two construction kits, don't I? Yeah, I have two of them right here. And what was the third? I know, I'm pretty forgetful. Electronics? I think I have that too. Cool, I could build that. Where's my, my ride? Oh yeah, right here. Oh God, I always get confused. So I want to build this, yes. But I kind of want to build it um, in a spot that's like further into the game. I have, I have a few large oxygen. Yeah, I'm gonna build it as close to, as soon as I get out of this wreckage, I'll build it. This is all the engines and stuff. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a solution for that. So this is basically right at the exit of that. I think this is a good good spot to build something that I can actually build stuff and I'm not in the radiation completely. So this might be a good spot, hopefully. Ooh. You have built your own station. I see signal. You can build different stations around, but it's very unreasonable. You, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, oh, I have the airlock. What's the between a small and a big? Miss. Okay, let's put this away. 
Oh. Oh, cool. There's gravity in here. Where? Oh. I don't know. I did that. Uh. Build. Oh. So I do. I have a generator back at the thing. I need a generator, and I need an inductor so I can make oxygen. Okay. Cool. All right. Be on my way back and uh see you in a little bit all right i'm back baby i'm back i'm here to build out this thing i'm interesting uh interesting stuff i hope i built it in the right spot you know i said it was a thousand meters to my oxygen station and stuff and so it's it's realistically to get to these like thousand meter away things so that's good to know it just seems further like if I was to do it without the vacuum, I'd be in trouble. No. Uh, build. And then dismiss. Build. I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, so I knew what kind of interference I hear. What you do, you repair something. Is it not a ship? Don't leave without me. Awesome. I brought the, I knew I need the research table, I guess. So. I see careers a database of liner. I hope you are not looking for classified information and make risk cute team kill us Ugh. uh put it away Ooh. research electrical engineering ship oh this is yay now how do i use this oh a research table oh my yes blaster a real battle blaster that could go pew pew. It's quite a serious weapon. In fact, back in the day, the invention of working principle of beam blasters changed the balance of power in the world and allowed to monopolize space. Oof. Ooh, a jet accelerator. Better suits. Wait. Electro working with electricity is not just wear rubble gloves, especially if you're messing with... Liners, energy cores, I remember Grandpa put on such foil even when uh, the risk of being exposed to radiation was very low. So I wonder, would it risk going anywhere near engine of a great liner without such a suit? Is that, oh, so these are just better ra radiation protection? Okay, advan I don't even use the flashlight now. A vehicle? Lectoplasm? The famous Zaz space car. This is the first and the only miniature spacecraft at the moment that is capable of being in space for a long time with passengers inside it. Beautiful, reliable, and efficient as rubber boots. Cash? Bribe? Bribe is always a bribe. Even in space, of course, if you find someone to, to throw it at. at chewing gum? <laughs> a wonderful thing for stopping leaks and interlocutions. Cutors. Explosives, EMP, Jesus, beef grenade. Oh, wow. Two generators? Holy crap. Hey, there's my vacuum. Rocket vacuum. <laughs> okay, okay. I enhanced handy scrapper. Oh, just four refined metals. Interesting. Uh, electrical engineer. So I need to get, I need to get some stuff. 
roll of fabric lead paint. I I don't have that. I wonder if I can find stuff nearby. So at least I got this stuff down. Yay, I have a home away from home. Anything useful over here? Multiple electromagnetic anomalies detected. There may be some breakdowns in the work of complex equipment in this area. Therefore, the Breath Edge Company assumes no responsibility for the behavior and performance of the Buterary spacesuit. Although I doubt I may have any problems. Force. Turbines of this size and design were usually installed in old space stations. Is this what I need that suit for? There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? Yes. Whoa, bright lights. Well, thank you for marking it. Oh, wow. Will I get shocked? Something exploded here, probably. No kidding, huh? Oh, blueprint. Man, that chicken is pretty durable. I got it covered for now. Well, I could use this metal. Refined metal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Such an amateur device can make your hair super voluminous so you could look gorgeous on your deathbed. Uh, game, I have, I have oxygen. Do you not know? Are you just gonna give me the almost dying thing for now? <laughs> hey, yes. Yes, please, I need the refined metal. I don't mind the sound. Equipment. EMP. Beef can not only burn a can of beef why do we use food for random things? Sheesh. Uh, so I need, I need some resources. I need a bunch of these. Oh, I just need wire. I can get wire. Wire should be easy to find. Wait, was there a radio in here? Ooh, I need that. Do I have scissors? Yes, I do. Take away grabber. I need that. I don't know how much, so I'm just going to take it all. Anyways, is there a radio in here? I thought I saw a hanging radio thing. Oh, 
All right. Where to next? The... Is that bubblegum? What is this? That's like, that's a sim is that my oxygen thing? But what is this? Oh my god. What is he going to say about this? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Oh, there's titanium. Cool. Well, this ship is just done. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Wait, was I? I wasn't there yet, was I? Yeah. Let's go get oxygen, and then we'll head to the leaf symbol. And yeah, go from there. Am I gonna make this? Is I going to make this? Ah, oh, man. I is not. Oh well. I don't want to lose any more health if I can avoid it. So if I need food, I got stuff down here. Hello. Good sir, do you need assistance? Why were you not wearing your helmet? Apparently he died in comfort and without fear. Maybe you can assemble such a bench as well. Into space without fear. How to stop being afraid of de death in space? 145 tips of a practicing psychologist who has never been to space. It's a great book, but to be honest, it's useless. It's expensive paper and colored pictures, though. Yeah. You know, I bet that worked out you for you really well. It didn't. Ooh, I can use that for storage outside my base. How much space do I have? Ooh, I have none. So, where's my car? Or my vacuum? My vacuum! So, I know this is pretty stupid, but I'm, since this place has oxygen, I'm going to put the suitcase right outside it, and then use the suitcase as storage here, and it's not like I have to go too far. So, let's uh, equip it. And we'll install it there. Open. And we'll put... Some titanium. That works. Wait, can I take it after I put stuff in it? Because that would be even better. That would be awesome. I just knew I can install it because I, I had one earlier. Where'd it go? Okay. So can I pick you up now? Oh, okay. Yeah, see. So you'll just be right here in front of the base. You'll have some of my stuff. Stuff I can replace easily. I just wanted to check this out quick. We need a bunch of inductor, we need a bunch of wire, we need a bunch of, we need a bunch of stuff. Whoa, seriously, how big was this ship? These like, look like tail sections. There are declared cargo holds inside for transporting synthetic meat, milk, and plant food. There might be something useful here. Yeah, they can. Functional farm for synthesizing beef. However, the declaration mentions only the transportation of goods. There is no data about any research conducted on the liner unnamed, but it seems that apart from transporting food, they also did some biological experiments in these sections. What a strange place. But maybe we can find something useful here. <laughs> oh, glass. Uh. Uh, then put that there, put this back, uh, put, do, 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 do. 
Awesome. I need glass. Looks like an undamaged cargo section with dairy products. Special containers with cooling gel are used for transporting milk. The gel is ideal for reducing the core's activity. What's left to do is to find the emergency unloading lever, get inside the section, pump out the cooling gel, and launch it into the liner. Piece of cake. Yeah, right. I was too worried about dying. I did not pay attention. Scanner. This may come in handy if you calibrate it correctly. Soil analyzer. Why would I want a soil analyzer? Synthetic manure. This type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow. Not even with electrical tape. But everything would be fixed with electrical tape. I, I don't... I, what are these words you are speaking? This is the first stop. Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. The doors are locked. These locks can only be opened with a special tool from outside. Or, alternatively, they can be broken. You are good at doing that. strange that this section is protected with weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. I don't know what to do! <sighs> okay, I'm getting more stuff this time. Uh, you, you probably saw it, but I died. Yeah, so I had to... Eh, I forgot to save, and it only auto-saves in safe places, so it saved at the base when I... before I even built anything. Stop. Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. It's strange that this section is protected with weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. Yeah, it's strange. How do we enter in here? Is it on top? Yeah. <laughs> Is it below? Okay, let's stop wasting time. We need to get somewhere. Turbines of this size and design were usually installed in old space stations. I will mark it. Oh, really? Wait, I thought you said this is relatively new. What happened here? Is that a duck? Children again. Of course, I hope they managed to escape through this jam smeared hole. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's jam. If I were a kid, I would definitely not want to fall asleep with a breath edge night late in, <laughs> in the room. You know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, that's jelly. I know it. That's, yeah. <clears throat> no kids in here. 
I wonder what happened. I hope they escaped. They got to the escape pod. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, handy scrapper. I thought I had that out. What do you have for me? And did I just kick you away? Son of a... Uh, is that you? Nope, but you're, you'll do. Yes. 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 The last oxygen. Candle. I really need a, a $200 tank. I left you goldfish in front of the toaster. A professional tool for scraping off dried chewing gum from any surfaces, including hair. When it comes to hair, the scraper turns into professional tool for removing it by gently scalping. Okay. <sighs> I need lead paint, which I don't know if this game knows, but that was way back at the beginning. Which is frustrating, to say the least. Beef pellet. Ew. Wait, if I create it, does it mean I get a new thing? Biofuel. Oh. What? Wait. Wait. What was that? Roll of fabric. Okay, yeah. Cool. I guess. I still need paint, don't I? Yikes, that is a trip and a half. Here we go. Cooling gel detected. Theoretically, the cooling gel can be used to reduce the temperature and activity of the core. That is, if you find a blob large enough that doesn't evaporate before you get to the liner. No. <laughs> okay. Now we can see why there's so much cooling gel near the shuttle. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There's no data about such systems being on the liner unnamed. Interesting. That's uh, strange. I should explore it sometime, but I don't really have the team right now. All right. I think I got everything. I had to backtrack pretty far. Oh, what? I think, um, what? I gotta wait a minute. Um, okay, here we go, a minute. All right, three, two, one. Uh, you, again, use database of liner to do some calculations i see your quest to protect suit from electricity it is very dangerous the suit i'm guessing you're saying of course you say that oh i just need resin awesome well that's all the time i have for that i was uh, 
you know, I, I got I got to criticize this game for a little bit. It has, it's a it's a funny game, and it's very uh, interesting how they they keep you progressing forward slowly and stuff. But I, what I don't like is the the uh, resources aren't air like they're not tuned to the area. So like I had to go back all the way to the the first area to get the paint, and that that's just tedious in itself. But I mean, I can't fault them. They're just trying to make a game, and and some. It seems like it after that first area that, you know, things change. So, I guess I can't fault them too much. It's just frustrating. But, anyways, I. I appreciate everyone who watched this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.